Hey guys, uh, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome back to MicroStrategy Online Session again. And in today's topic, uh, we'll cover how to create custom objects, how to capitalize the custom objects from the MicroStrategy gallery and use it in your MicroStrategy dashboard. MicroStrategy provides few uh, number of uh, objects which is you can see here grid chart uh, uh, this is a heat map and so on uh, up to this network chart however we have uh, used all those controls now we are, go we are going to use few more controls those are not in this list however micro strategy provide them in the micro strategy gallery which is available in online and it is free of cost so we can use them and we can capitalize the benefit of all those uh, objects and for the better analysis so let's create something which is not there in our object gallery or chart gallery here how to add a custom object here you can see there's a custom tab available i have added few more uh, custom objects but if you start with the fresh dashboard you would not get anything here in this list you'll have only this text called custom and just below to that you will get this plus mark so plus mark indicates that you need to add the custom objects so directly it cannot be added actually you have to see you have to go to the gallery and uh, you know you have to download the object or plugin and then you need to insert it so there are two three options i'll just take care i'll just take you through the two how we can consume this Micro strategy custom objects. So here we go. Go to this particular gallery. Make sure you should have an internet connection. All right. So these are all the visualizations or objects available online. This is a bullet chart, which is basically used for, uh, you know, making a comparison of, say, for example, target versus actual, or sales versus uh, profit, something like that. This is organogram. Uh, you need to create a hierarchy a kind of uh, objects. This is a notation, Miko chart. The timeline basically it needs a time dimension and uh, and and a progress value which needs to be created here a funnel chart a box plot this particular chart is basically used to show uh, the number of uh, uh, you know items is sold in a particular range of price in a particular price range okay so and this is radar chart so let's start with a very simple uh, chart called a radar chart how do you use it i'll just show you this is word cloud this is one of the most popular chart uh, and most beautiful so let's uh, start with the radar one click here and just download this object So the details of the description showing here how to consume it it needs one attribute and one or more matrix so let's download the chart here is the demo file however it is optional and you can download it this particular chart can be downloaded i am going to download and you can keep it in your project folder so whatever all the additional files you have you can keep it there So I have this project folder and I will I will just place it here probably. Um, I can keep oh. say for example any uh, uh, direct or indirect uh, or related direct or indirectly related uh, files or other stops will be kept here in this source folder. So I'll just choose this folder and I will keep all the project related files why i should keep because 
if you migrate your microstrategy code to any other system say i'll migrate the code to other server uh, there may not be this plugin would not be available so in that case that particular visualizations may soon erect or maybe throwing some error so in order to ensure that you can keep your source folder and key you can you know just collect all those third party plugins or you know those are not defaultly available you can place those plugins so if at all those issues arise in the target system maybe in the server your administrator or the person who is handling for the deployment can just consume these uh, objects and you know make your dashboard fine tune in the target system okay so just save it there only not any other folder i'll just keep it here this is a radar chart i will also collect few more objects maybe do not chat which is not available here so the 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 features which is shown here it itself describes how to consume these objects so <coughs> so this is the the chart the file now it's time to use this object in the dashboard and create a visualization okay so here you can again have to click on the plus mark and there's an option called import visualization okay so choose here probably my uh, my strategy file uh, language has been changed i need to reset it okay i'll check it later but yes so uh, let's just choose it here visualization import visualization and go to this particular folder and radar chart okay so this is the radar chart it says your visualization has been imported successfully and you can get the visualization just below to this object okay the recently added visualization showing here all right okay now let's just <coughs> use the data and i'm going to use the month so various months we have available i'll just delete this one month and there are all the months and i'll choose this object so we will have the number of months we will have the number of radars radar ages and month wise say revenue okay it's very simple what is say either there is no enough data to display the visualization or the visualization is not conf configuration is not complete okay month and in the matrix you need to add a revenue so it's a beautiful chart which is automatically being drawn and this is what we call as a radar chart it's exactly looks like a uh you know spider nest or it's, it looks like a radar where every month the january this is this is basically the x axis data and these are all the captions these are all the y axis data the major or the matrices and these are all the attributes okay the more number of data you will have in your attribute will increase the number of ages here we have max you know 12 ages right 
now the more number of uh, data you will have in your attribute field will increase the number of ages in the radar okay so if you add uh, you know uh, seven days of a week you'll have a seven ages of this radar and accordingly you'll have seven cross sections so we have the first cross section of the january which is crossing here and the revenue is up to this much now accordingly in february you'll have a little bit increasing in the revenue in march and is increased in april it is decreased and so on and so on so we can take the decision here that november has the highest number of revenue which succeed to all the, which exceed to all the revenues in other months okay so looks like in april it is very less revenue as compared to other months okay this is one dimensional radar chart it looks beautiful <coughs> now i can also add multiple measures so this is one dimensional what i'll do i'll just make it duplicated and right away i'll create another chart referring to this particular fields uh this is looks erect so what i'll do i will delete this one So I will simply create another object which will have two dimensional, uh, sorry, one uh, dimensional multiple measure uh, <coughs> radar chart. So here as for the guidelines, we have uh, one dimension, no, one dimension or one attribute we need to have and multiple matrix you can have in a radar chart. So choosing again another radar chart. We can check the number of weeks. There are 52 weeks in a year, and COGS. So I'll just choose here. Uh, I have to drag it actually, uh, or or I can take something like the product attribute, product as attribute, and then sales as matrix. And I could create so these are all the product codes uh, instead of this I'll just use the product name okay so I got all these are the products and individual product wise sales I can see this is the highest sales I'm having and also I will take two measures or two matrices one I got the sales and then the next one I will take it as discount so uh, as compared to the sales the discount is very less so that's why it is showing uh, negligible what I'll do I'll just take as a revenue so again the revenue is also high as compared to the product individual cost or sales uh, let's do something uh, sales and probably this one would help yeah something like this this looks good uh, now <coughs> this is basically the discount which is happens to be shown here in the as as compared to a product okay now these are all the products and they are sales and these are the revenue and these are the effective discounts which is referred to each product and on every product there you can find a cross sections which represents the value so this is how the radar chart which is a custom object of micro strategy is being used and this is the way you can also follow and you know create beautiful visualizations there are a number of visualizations available in the micro strategy gallery i hope this video has been uh, useful for you thank you so much